Hi and welcome to this little uh, tutorial. Um, on the screen you can see the leaf that I scanned just a few minutes ago. Uh, nice autumn colors. Um, I'm inside Photoshop and uh, during the next few minutes I'll try to cut out the leaf and uh, save it as bitmap uh, with embedded transparency. You'll notice that the leaf um, is not um, entirely pressed down on the scanner. I just used um, a single sheet of paper. As a result, the um, um, creating of the mask is a little bit um, well more complex because we have to deal with the shadows of the leaf. But as an advantage, uh, we have some, or the, the scanning process captures uh, some of the shapes uh, which wouldn't be visible if you press down the leaf uh, completely flat. So you can see here that we have darker area, lighter area. Um, you can see the bends, twists and folds of the leaf. And in our case this is very useful because we plan to map this uh, bitmap texture onto a flat or um, almost flat surface. So it's good if uh, some um, shape information is captured and also some lighting information is captured, some specular information is captured inside uh, this bitmap. When creating textures for a low poly model, um, you would probably um, well try to capture even more of the shape, even more light information. Um, so that you can come away with a lower poly geometry um, and in a perfect world where we wouldn't have to deal with uh, poly count limits. Um, it would be of course best um, if we really would only capture the diffuse part, so no shape information, no light information, um, but then you would need a really high res leaf geometry uh, which is not um, possible in most cases. So this is a good um, compromise. Uh, we have some light information, some uh, shape information. Uh, not only the diffuse part is captured, um, but still is, it's not so much that you can uh, see repeating, um, well, specular highlights for example. Now we'll start to create the mask in uh, Photoshop or in GIMP or whatever. Um, I'm mostly using the magic wand. Um, we can use a higher tolerance value in this case. I'm activating a neighbors so that only neighbor pixels are selected. And then we'll simply click into the white area and you can see that we already capture uh, most of the uh, white areas and some of the black areas sheet of paper was a little bit too small. We now can uh, zoom in. And if we zoom in you can see that there are some um, areas left which haven't been captured yet. We could click uh, into this area but then the tolerance might be too high so we should probably lower the tolerance and see how much we can get uh, with magic wand. Okay, if you capture too much, just undo. Um, another tool that I often use is simply change into the, the mask mode and then you can use the regular um, painting um, tools to refine the mask. I'm be, be, be sure that you're using a hard pencil. And then painting white means taking it or adding it to the to the selection. This also helps to capture some areas um, that we have missed before, for example here at the rim sometimes, or some, well, dirty spots on the scanner. Then use the black color 
to remove those areas right here. Here we need to capture this. Probably here. Okay, so um, this is uh, the second tool I'm usually using. Now you can go back into the 